Hello there, it's um, been a while. Um, this is Tom slash Index Sonic, and today I got a little bit of a surprise slash treat for you. And you might be wondering why I'm setting this up on my sofa. Well, it's because it's the best area to do this video and show off everything that I wanted to show off. And secondly, we have a purple throw. It is a brown sofa, but um, my wife clearly pointed out I should not be ripping off another famous YouTuber who reviews stuff on a sofa. Anyway, you probably already know by the title, so I'm not going to keep you guys waiting. This came in the post to me yesterday. This, my friends, if you don't know who it is, this is Earthworm Jim. The little wormy guy there in the super suit. And that's Farmer Jim, an original character for this. It came in this very awesome box. I'm trying to show off the best I can. Let's see if it's going to... Focus, come on, focus. But yeah, very cool box. And this is done by the original creator of Earthworm Jim himself, Doug Tenapel. Sadly, I wasn't able to back the first Kickstarter for the first book, but he did an Indiegogo as well afterwards to try to get more books made for people who missed out on the Kickstarter, and I jumped on that bandwagon. So, this is going to be a semi-surprise unboxing video. I had to open it to just quickly check to make sure everything's intact. But, for the most part, this is going to be a surprise little unboxing video. First of all, I'll show off what we got inside first, if the camera will focus. There you go. So, it's an ungroovy patch. So, yeah. This is Psycro, the main one of the main bad guys for the Earth Wind Gym line and recurring villain in the cartoon comic whatever you want to say video game and i remember for the first one i didn't get it but the panel was an earthworm gym patch that says groovy on it and this one's saying ungroovy so yeah that's pretty cool i've got to say but i digress let's get this box and open I'm trying to get this open without completely destroying it there we go so first of all Let's get this pack open here. So, yeah. A little thank you letter from Doug to Naple himself in the little corner there. And he's saying thank you to show off your order, making a great unboxing video and post it to her from Jim Unboxing in the title. Mmm, I wonder where I got that idea from. So, you got a little checklist here. An H page. Evil the Cat comic. Well, I do see one. A 24 page Bigfoot Bill comic free. And four different stickers, Evil the Cat cloth patch, and a 9x12 black and white print. Ooh. So let's, enough story, let's get this open up and see. Okay, right, we've got this bad boy open. Let's see what we've got. I know it's going to sound weird, but for anyone who buys stuff brand new out the box, it always comes with that factory smell, and I can smell that right now. Some people, it's off-putting for me. I don't know if it's the same for others. They like the smell. Anyway. Let's show off the first little thing here. Here we go. They call him evil. This is evil the cat. He's a villain. He's a cat. Cat or evil. That a little bonus comic that got included in this. I'm not going to show it all off. But yeah, it's done by Doug April By the same team and everything like that. And uh, everyone who's worked on it at the back. But yeah, cool little comic. Little bonus. And there's a little reference to the video game on the back. When you're in the land of Heck, you can get attacked by these little weird little demon ball thing with giant massive teeth. And there's a worth Jim being in on in horror. Also, I just realised on the front cover, he's doing Shadow Puppet and then there's a chicken. Is that a chicken? I'm not too sure. It looked like a chicken. But yeah, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, there's another patch. More Evil the Cat. And this design of him is more based on the cartoon appearance of him. Uh, Earth and Jim had a cartoon back in the 90s, for those who don't know, and this is pretty much his design one-to-one. -one. It's pretty cool. It's another iron-on patch, as I've been told multiple times. So, yeah, pretty rad. And this one is done in pencil and black and white. I think that is pretty cool. If you like your stickers, Princess What's-Her-Name. And for those who are wondering, yes, that's her name, Princess What's-Her-Name. It's a joke. But yeah, cool character and 
bug lady thing. But yeah, Princess, what's her name? And if anyone is wondering, she is in the video games. Um, she's always the person get crushed by the cow at the end of the game. And here we got the Earthworm Jim logo. This is the same design as the cartoon one. Again, pretty cool if you watched the cartoon back in the day. Right, this comic here, um, for those who don't know, um, Dr. Naple has been doing his own original comic book series called Bigfoot Bill, and I believe, yeah, this is the third one in the line. I'm just going to open up. Ah, funny enough, open up on a page I actually was following. Um, for those that don't know, Doug Naple does live streams, and when he does his live stream, he shows off his inking process, and funny enough, open on the page, I actually watched the episode of. I think that's pretty cool. That was totally not planned. No, seriously, that was not planned at all. <laughs> and we're going to open up the last thing here, which is going to be the print. Ooh, I can tell already this is this is being made on nice, very, very nice paper. A black and white still. It, it got a very moving noir feel. We got the whole time main cast here. We've got Princess Watts. I'll start from left to right. We got Princess What's her name? We got Earthworm Jim holding his I cannot remember the name of the gun. He does give it a nickname. We've got the slime character. I cannot remember his name. I really am bad about that. Sorry. We've got Peter Puppy. Right, and then behind the new character for the comic, uh, Farmer Jim. And this is the reason why Earthworm Jim called himself Jim, because the first human he meets is called Jim, so he calls himself Jim. Show you the brains there. But that's all the little bonus stuff you get with it. If you back the Kickstarter, I don't think they're going to be doing this again, unless they do the Kickstarter again and going to give away the bonuses. Anyway, so the main feature for the unboxing video, and why you're here. Try to get this out without damaging it. So yeah. We've got Earthworm Jim, the main book here, volume two, which is called Fight the Fish. Already, I haven't unpacked it for its seal, but let's just quickly do that. You can tell already the quality for this book is just amazing. It <laughs> You can tell a lot of effort went into this. Um, you've got golden gloss, you've got shiny gloss, you've got little gold bits of glowing and uh, emboss, embossing, outbossing. It's done really, really nicely. I, I really like this cover. I, I think it's done fantastically well. It's um, up there with the first cover. Let me just open this up and have a look and see what I've got here. Also, a little thing as well they did with the last one. They've got gold sealed paper on the side there as well nice little added bonus this is all the stuff that was shown off um, on the Kickstarter video he did saying oh if we reach this amount we can do this with the book and this and this and this and because I paid a little bit extra on the Kickstarter I get Doug to Naples little wall graph there pretty cool <laughs> big fine print big pages Big hardback cover. Yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. And the artwork is as good as the previous one already. Just skimming through this quickly. And yeah, it looks really, really impressive. I am st stunned. <laughs> I really like this. This is definitely going to get a read and a place on the wall at some point. But yeah. Overall, I am um, really chuffed with this. I'm glad that I kickstarted it. I helped kickstart it. Kickstarter's finished. I remember there was an Indiegogo. Indiegogo can go for a lot longer than Kickstarter. I don't know if the Indiegogo is still going, but have a look up. Also, Doug's Naple does have a website called the Earthworm Gym website. Um, go and check that out where you can buy these books from him directly as well. There you have it, Earthworm Jim 2, Fight the Fish, um, Kickstarter set right there, all of it off its, in its glory. Um, unfortunately, I didn't wasn't able to show off this guy. Um, 
This is a character from Cat Scratch, um, another cartoon that um, Doug Denapel worked on for Nickelodeon back in the day in the early 2000s, late 90s, I believe. But yeah, I didn't watch it as a kid, but yeah. Um, also, here's the first book to compare it with. In the background, you might see it. Yes, you do. But yeah, I think it's done very well. Just the first two two compounds here. But yeah, I think that's come out pretty nicely. A fine addition to the to the collection. So yeah, um, I think Doug Tenapel said he wants to do a third book as well. Um, clearly, um, I've been watching his videos and he has mentioned he wants to base the more later books on levels from the actual video games. There's been about three video games in total so this was based off the Sega Mega Drive one and um, the underwater level and that's just original content within itself featuring different characters but yeah um, I'm really happy with this and go and check out his website you can pick up more of his content